This is Playmo Bello and this is set 3050 from the year 1984. It could also be 1985, 6, 7, 8. Because Playmobil was producing this ship from 1984 forward, which had characters with different hands. For example, this character here actually had a rotating hand. This guy up here, the watcher, his hand is red. That means it's a uh, one piece for the arm, which means the hands do not rotate. The very first pirate ship ever released by Playmobil. It came with several crew members. One, two, three, four, five. I love the ringing. I even tie up, I do extra ties here and there to make it look cooler. It, it, it looks more authentic, like a pirate ship, and it's a lot more fun when you're a child to play with a ship like that. I got one of these when I was five or six and all I remember is how awesome it looked like and how happy I was to have a pirate ship that actually floated. I have the castle flag here with some waves. We have the pirate flag. We could say Great Britain or Spain or Portugal. They all had ship fleets back in the days. And pirates were outlaw people, you know, criminals. They would jump into these ships and take over and then make it their own. Playmobil knows history. What you can do is, if you have other sets from Playmobil from the same, you have British soldiers, you can have them own this ship and your pirates can come in and take the ship from them. Once they take the ship, Playmobil has supplied both flags and you can change the flags to pirate flag. This is too thick, this flag here, but they can kind of stand in there and just be like that you can also stand right here on the bridge or you can just play that you're sliding down a rope Whee! you can hold on on these side rigs they're made of plastic so you can just hold with their hands and climb up and down on all four of them you can do whatever you want with that so i like to roll up the rope from the little bolt this life-saving bolt see it's right there you can tie it in here you can tie it up in here or you can just put it like i did on the shoulder of some guy because he's just preparing the bolt for someone to go fish or do something with it or this you know over here we have the actual pirate captain drives the ship he commands everything from the highest area of the little stairways that go up into his cabin here this wheel turns you have three points of ropes of riggings in here when you tie up here then you go up here you go a few rounds here go through the little hole in this area here i've done a little round as well and then you go down here on the tip see that that you can tie your ropes i just put a lot of ropes just so i didn't have to cut it and trash it and then there's a little rope right here. In this case, the guy, the hook pirate, can be hanging on it. And slide down like that. Slide down this. Stickers, we receive two stickers. One is a yellow sticker. And one is this red one with two mermaids. He has uh, two paddles with two seats and the golden lantern in the back. Just like with any Playmobil pirate ship, the saddles move back and forth. This one is not moving much because I have the rigging pretty tight in the back. This one can rotate like that as well. So you can play that. You're using the wind as best as possible. Uh, the ship comes with two of these um, cranes. See, there's one, another one down here. And the way this crane works is it's tied up in here. It goes down to this actual metal pulley and it goes up to a plastic pulley and then it goes down here that if you push like that it goes up very loud and if you push down it goes down if you rotate this way it goes down there you go that's how as high as it goes and then you can rotate this towards the sides and what it does is you park your ship into the port and you lower this crane all the way down and you can unload. The ship has a working metal bell. This is actually metal. And 
legit. See, see how heavy that is. Right here, there is actually two huge metal bars, and on the top here, there's a big uh, foam piece. And those items are what makes this ship float on the water properly. Fun, you can put your pirate to his hand can go through the rigging and he would stay at the tip of the boat. When you're not using your anchor, you can put it in this area here. It holds it just like so. Push this all the way. There you go. Your characters are jumping in and out of a little boat or lifesavers boat. There is a little ladder, and this ladder can be used by any character. It can be held with their hands and even hooks and feet. We have two cannons, and there is a spacing for the cannons. Some boats come with white balls, and some come with black balls. Depends on what kind of boat and where is it from. Mine has uh, dark balls, but I also have the white balls on this, so I can just switch around. Supposed to load with the ball, and then you push the powder. Boom, boom, boom. Here, and he shoots. All right, let's see if I can hit this guy with the cannon. I load it. Oh wow, that was so shameful. And right on his head. You know, cannon original spring. And look how soft and nice it goes. If you open this, you have also a bottom area just like any pirate ship where you can store items or cranes in this case it takes this whole this whole crane with the box in there or you can make it that it's a dormitory look at that there is a doorway that goes into the captain's room and there's the pirate's cabin lights a little obsolete in there but you can see you can see three people you can get one to just stand if you want to. He can just be standing in there and they can all be talking about plans of attack or maybe discussing a new plan or strategy or looking at a treasure map. Or to tie the rope properly based on the instruction manual. So you go here, you do one loop, maybe two loops, whatever amount of loops you want. Then you just do this. See, I got this with a finger and this with another and I do this then I go like this then I hold there and, and flip it and put it over there and push it push it boom another cool feature of the ship it rolls it has wheels on the bottom so you will roll you hear that can you see the wheels there's one up here and two on the back we have five characters I just got extra of these uh, yellow boots and sword holsters we have one sticker but I gave it to the captain and this guy and like I said some sets have white balls some sets have black balls we have a ladder two chests two cannons with the cannon uh, accessory to play that you're putting the ball in there and push it in a pole to pull things and have fun with that two flags and each side of the flag is different we have this and we have this uh, depends on the person you can glue it differently I think the blue should be all in one flag I just made a mistake there we have two shovels two pickaxes five white uh, knives they're white not light gray be careful with that we have a spoon, a uh, telescope, and a megaphone, all with shiny gold. Beware of that, it has to be shiny gold. 12 balls per cannon, okay? Five pistols, two flags, one Briton, one pirate, two small flags, castle and the uh, red cross. We have a treasure map, two buckets, and a little lantern as well as a nice rowboat. Another feature that shows if your pirate ship has been uh, ma messed with and if it's uh, original and authentic, it has this little holder here for the paddle. And, and here are all the characters with their accessories removed. This is how their back looks like for you playing. There's nothing much. All their hands are not movable. We have two blue colors 
two blue collars only one sticker I just got two because I'm lucky we have three yellow boots I have four because I'm lucky let's just take that out for now one sword holster and two red blue ties then we have a red and blue hat for the watcher a yellow necklace for the watcher a green hat a red hat just like the green one but it's just red a red bandana for this guy and a pirate captain's hat with a red feather we also have a gold shiny gold sword and two wrist cuffs they're the very thick ones see that very thick Oh, do notice that this guy has a wooden leg as well as the pirate captain has a wooden leg I seen some sets being sold with just average normal leg because people just get a guy that has a black suit and just make him a captain by adding the accessories 